Hello everyone, Feedy here, here, and welcome to another Title 2 loadout video where I bring you new loadouts to try every once a week. Today's loadout is going to be another Frontier Defense build that will focus on a typical crowd control loadout that can support and stun enemies for a good duration of time and allow you enough breathing room to focus on your main objective. Also, you'll be using the Thunderbolt as your main primary weapon this time. Today's loadout pilot is called the Arc Boomer from Pineful Salt, who is a great anti robotics pilot with a very big gun and a very effective range. Now the Art Boomers are very similar to the Boomer Pilot, to where they can both do a lot of damage on singular or larger targets, but have the disadvantage of reloading very slowly, which when up against a target that can produce much faster damage than these pilots, it can lay waste to them very easily. Plus they cost a lot to deploy on the battlefield, so it's more of a risky move to throw them out on the field straight away if you don't have a backup plan ready and waiting for them. As I added bonus though, they do have a large amount of health compared to the majority of other pilots, meaning that they can either out DPS a target before dying, or survive a number of hits that in many cases would be either an instant one shot kill for them. So they have a pretty good survival chance against generally everyone. But this is more of what I've seen in Type 4 Assault, and this is not going to be the case for Type 1 2. Type 1 2 is going to be focusing more on your survivability and your skills. So we're going to see how well we can do using it, and generally everything I said that would affect it in Titanfall Assault really won't be that much of a problem. In Titanfall 2 and the Frontier Defense, all we got to worry about is your skills and your survivability. So like anyways, let's go straight to the loadout. Your class can either be the AWOL pilot for the look and extra damage you can produce using your AWOL, or you can either be the holo pilot and purchase the amp boost in your armory within whatever map you're playing on. Your primary now can be, once again, anything you like, as your main primary will be the Thunderbolt rather than the AR or SMG. You can have a AR or SMG as a backup weapon in case things get really bad, but do remember your Thunderbolt is your main weapon you should be using throughout the whole entire match. So you shouldn't be using any type of AR, or SMG or sniper rifle uh, throughout the whole match. You should only be using your Thunderbolt and only switch into your AR, or SMG or whatever other weapon you have as backup if things get really bad, and I mean really bad, I mean to the point of where your objective is taking a lot of damage and there's too much adds on the field. Your secondary now is the P2816 and your anti titan weapon will be the Thunderbolt, which I don't really need to explain since it's generally the whole point of the pilot and pretty much his main weapon that he uses generally for his, I guess, whole career. Your ordnance now will be the art grenade that can help with stunning and damaging groups of enemies in one go. And your Titan will be Legion, with the Enhanced Armor Capacity Kit and Nuki Jet for a very destructive approach against everyone that faces me. And lastly, your Pilot Kits will be Fast Regen for a last longer survivability, and Hover for peak shooting against enemies at longer or medium distances. So playing this loadout is very simple since it's more of a point and click adventure I found. Except from this case, you're going to be spamming the Thunderbolt in every general direction so you can either cover as much ground as possible and slow as much enemies down to the point of them dying or being finished off by your teammates. Since we're going to be playing in easy and normal mode for Frontier Defense, it basically means that we get unlimited anti titanary bullets, or should I say unlimited anti titanary ammo, meaning that we don't have to ever worry about ever running out of ammo whatsoever for our anti titan weapon. We can just keep firing and firing and firing in whatever direction we want to, and genuinely pretty much set ourselves up. It may hurt your finger, but that's just the pilot. If you decide to go ahead and use this in, say, in hard or massive difficulty, you're going to be limited down on your anti titan weaponry. So instead of you having unlimited, you'll probably get about maybe 9 or 10 shots before you completely run out. So do be aware that's one of the disadvantages you do have for playing this loadout, that you can't play it in higher difficulties because it's not generally going to be possible with the limited ammo you have. One thing I must say though is that when you're going up against IMC grunts, I would recommend you use your primary to kill them as the Thunderbolt won't kill them outright and pretty much requires you to land at least a direct hit or two to kill them. So to speed up the process, use your grenade to stun them for a few seconds and do a bit of damage to them and then, you do, and then use your pistols to finish them off. Or if you want to, go ahead and just melee them outright. But one thing I do know is that the Thunderbolt does do a lot of damage against robotic AIs. So like, the Reaper, so like the Reapers and the Spectres, so you probably have a better chance of using your Thunderbolt against those groups. But when it comes down to going up against the Human Grunts, you're probably better off just using your Pistol, or your Fist, or your Grenades to generally kill them. Your Legion now is just going to be your final measure when you get Overswarm of AIs, 
and your primary isn't enough to finish them off. So you should only use him when things get extremely rough and the harvester is in severe danger. As at that point you can go in and dump a ton of bullets into all those attacking the harvester. Plus I've also added in a nuke jet to wipe out even more AIs when bullets just aren't enough. Now you can change it to whatever you like and also if you have a max Aegis legion on hand then you really don't have to worry about fully customising your legion so it's really pretty deadly at this point. Now my legion is at I believe level 1 because I haven't actually used them whatsoever in Fundio Defence. So ideally this is the build that you can actually go ahead and use if you're someone that hasn't actually upgraded your legion in Fundio Defence. But if you're someone that has upgraded their legion then you can just generally go with whatever you like because at this point here there's not really much more customization you can go with. Overall the build is pretty great and short for going up against waves upon waves of enemies and eventually slowing them down to the point of killing them or letting your buddies come in and do the rest of the work. All you gotta do is literally fire and forget which is great because you don't really have that much of a role to be honest in front of the defense. You just fire in the direction you want, do whatever damage you can and either you finish them off or your buddies will come in and finish them off. Now personally there's not really much more you could add to this build since it's a pretty casual and laid build which also explains why I made it pretty short for a video because like I said there's not really much more I can actually go into actually building something around it. And like I said before the only downside to this build is using them in higher difficulties since your ammo for your Thunderbolt is literally limited rather than it be unlimited so you can only use it in easy to normal mode. But that shouldn't matter since it's a simple and chaotic fun build to play with and if you want to, try and go ahead and use this with your buddies. Use your buddies and you go ahead and use the same loadouts and go into whatever match and make sure it's a easy and normal map to play on. Go in, use the same loadout and say you sit back and enjoy yourself. Because at this point now, Time for 2 is practically done and we should just be playing it for fun now. But that is the end of my video and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by me leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by me leave a dislike. I understand and I'll look back over the video to see what I need to improve on in the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching. And one last thing, I do have a video coming up soon that will be one of my end of year videos to where I want to cover some of the things I want to be uploading in 2018. But I won't be going any more further than that. So for the time being guys, thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.